This is Banjo, today I'm going over Forced Correlation Mode for the AGM-65 Maverick. Forced Correlation Mode will bypass the Seeker Lock, allowing you to fire on a fixed position, as well as firing outside of maximum range. For the first step, I'm going to find the targets that I'm going to be attacking using the targeting pod, and I'm going to set a sensor point of interest on the first target. Due to the nature of how Forced Correlation will fire directly onto the position that you designate. It is essential that you set your sensor point of interest directly underneath the vehicle, as improper placement of your sensor point of interest can easily cause the missile to miss at the ranges that we're firing at. At this point with the target designated, I'll select a Maverick capable of forced correlation mode, and these will include the Hotel, Golf, and Kilo models of the AGM Maverick. Next, slave sensors to your sensor point of interest using China Hat Long, this will slave the Maverick onto the sensor point of interest. At this point, we could enter forced correlation mode by pressing both switch to center. At this point, if we move our cursor, we're able to see that the tracking gates will close. And at this point, all we need to do is place the tracking gates over the target and hold weapons release to fire the Maverick. Our targets being a pair of Acacia artillery at about 14 nautical miles away. At this point, with the first Maverick away, I'll set our new sensor point of interest on the second target. Slave the Maverick onto the new sensor's point of interest. Use boat switch to center to enter force correlation mode and slew the tracking gate over the target and fire. When firing at extreme ranges, such as 14 nautical miles, be sure that you have the altitude to loft the Maverick down onto the target. The first Maverick finds and destroys his target, while the second Maverick fires a bit long due to improper placement of the speed. This demonstrates why it's essential that your sensor point of interest be directly underneath the enemy unit, especially if you're coming in from a different approach from the approach you took when you designated the target in the first place.